Hello class. I would like to tell you about inherited traits and learned behaviors today. So basically you want to know what is heredity? Like why do children look like their parents? Why do brothers and sisters resemble each other? This is what we call inherited, inherited traits from our parents. The passing of traits from parents to child is the basis of heredity. As you see these two pictures, the children and the people in the family look similar. They have similar um, facial shapes and they have similar hair characteristics. To inherit means to get from your parents or from the, um, the, most, the last generation to get from the generation before that. An offspring is a young or the babies of an organism. It could be an offspring of an animal or it could be an offspring of a plant. So it's just when a um, plant has seeds and the seeds grow up to be a different, um, a, you know, an adult plant later on, then that plant was the offspring of its parent plant. Here, let's talk about trait. A trait is a characteristic that determines how an organism looks, acts, or functions. Can, do you have some of these traits? Are you a tongue roller? Do you have a widow's peak in your hair line? Do you have a free earlobe that hangs, or do you have an attached earlobe? Do you have a hitchhiker's thumb when you naturally hold your fingers out? Or do you have a little bent, a bent little finger? What's the difference between an inherited trait and a learned behavior? How would you describe yourself? List five things about yourself right now in your, in your mind. So here are some things to think about when you're trying to tell the difference between an inherited trait and a learned behavior. Some things you need to know. What is an inherited trait? What's an instinct? What's a learned behavior? So how did you describe yourself? You might say that you have brown eyes and that you might like to skateboard. So let's look. Some things describe um, you and your family that are similar because you like them and some things because you um, get them from your parents and you can't change that about yourself. Now, let's say that you have brown eyes and you like to skateboard. Consider this. Does anyone else in your family have brown eyes? Probably a few of them do. Does anyone like to skateboard? Maybe some people do. But your eye color came from your parents. And however, um, you learn to skateboard, you learn to skateboard from them, but you could change that um, and learn something different or learn how to skateboard better. You really can't learn how to have a different eye color. So humans and other animals are a mix of characteristics from their parents and from the behaviors that they learn. So a physical characteristic that is passed from parent to baby or offspring is an inherited trait. As you see in this picture, you may see some inherited traits in this family. Maybe facial shape, maybe skin color, maybe eye color, maybe hair color. Now take a look at this person in this picture. Notice her eye color, her skin color, her hair color. Um, see if her hair is curly or straight. Does she have dimples? Does she have freckles? Does she have a cleft chin, a widow's peak? Can you tell how tall she is? These are things that you get from your parents that you cannot change about yourself. Now, back to the earlobes. Are your earlobes attached or do they hang free to your side? This is something that someone else in your family may have similar ears as you do. Let's talk about animals. Animals have an instinctive behavior. That's also a trait that they get from their parents. That is a trait that they're born with. They just know some things to survive, like babies um, getting food from their mamas or crying when they're hurt. That is, a, that is an instinct. Maybe they are, and no one teaches them how to do this. They just know how to do this. This is um, an instinct for animals is a trait that passed from parent to offspring. Now, let's talk about instinct behaviors. A behavior is a way of acting. Behaviors can be inherited too. An inherited behavior are called instincts. Animals have instincts. Many animals are born with instincts that help them survive. Can you think of any animal instincts? Maybe running away from a predator? 
maybe finding food, the, the right food for them. Okay, instinctive behavior. Examples, when the weather turns chilly in the fall, animals prepare for winter by instinct. Some animals head to warmer climates. Some animals um, curl up and sleep for a long time. No one taught the animals what to do, or they did not go to animal school, but they have instincts that they pass from their parents so they'll know what to do. Now, birds protect their eggs and babies by instinct. Frogs are not born with this instinct. They leave their eggs to hatch or to die on their own. Can you think of any additional inherited behaviors called instincts? Now, let's talk about learned behaviors. We learn so many, so many things. In fact, we're learning about this right now. Learned behaviors are actions that are learned through the environment or trial and error. For example, teaching a dog to roll over by giving him a treat is an example of a learned behavior. They're not born knowing how to do these things. You, did not, you were not born knowing how to walk or to tie your shoe or to put on your clothes or to brush your hair or to pick up your fork. These are all learned behaviors. A learned behavior. Um, so are you better at using the computer um, than some of your adults? You've learned this. Also, some learned behaviors that you read on this page are making a sandwich, how to wakeboard, how to be polite to others. These are all learned behaviors. Can you learn behaviors that do not help you? Of course you can. You can learn how to watch too much TV or play too many video games or eat poorly or not exercise enough or to do bad habits. But let's try to learn how to do good habits. Can animals learn behaviors too? Of course they can. You can teach your dog how to sit. So let's review. An inherited trait is a physical characteristic that's passed from parent to offspring that you cannot change about yourself. Like I cannot change that I have brown hair. You cannot change the, um, the color of your eyes. Or if you have a dimple on your cheek, you can't change that. Um, yeah, you can color your hair, but your natural hair that grows out of the roots of your head um, is going to be an inherited trait. Now, a behavior is a way of acting. We learn language. We learn how to speak. We learn how to walk. We learn how to behave. Those are all behaviors that we've learned. Um, learned behaviors are not inherited, but they're learned from others. And you can change a learned behavior. You cannot change an inherited trait. So here's your quiz. Which of these is an inherited trait? A, liking the color red. B, having long fingers. Wearing your hair in a ponytail. Or D, liking chocolate ice cream. An inherited trait, something you cannot change, is having long fingers. If you answered B, good job. Next question. Which of these is a learned behavior? Having long eyelashes, having curly hair, heading south in the fall, or liking peanut butter sandwiches? What do you like? What do you learn? You learn how to like peanut butter sandwiches. D is the best answer. Which of these can you change? Can you change your instincts? Can you change your inherited traits? Can you change your learned behaviors? Or can you change your inherited behaviors? If you answer C, you're right. You can change your learned behaviors. If you learn how to scrub your teeth back and forth, you can learn how to brush your teeth from the gums up or from the gums down. A woman is an excellent cook. Why are her children going likely to become good cooks? Will they learn to cook by instinct? Will they learn to cook by watching? Will they inherit her cooking skills? Or cooking is an inherited trait. Well, B, they're going to learn to cook by watching. It's not something you know because you're born. You to learn how to cook. Now, the father of genetics was a man named Mendel, Mr. Gregor Mendel. He became, he was experimenting with um, garden peas. You remember I talked about the, the parent plant and then the offspring plant. He participated in experiments with garden peas, the green peas you eat, um, and, and see, and he had lots of experiments 